Like me, I'm sure many of you watching are Halloween fans, and we're all subject to our own opinions. I personally feel though as if Halloween 07 and its sequel Halloween 09 were fantastic films. Yeah, the sequel was a bit odd, but I enjoyed it. We know that Blumhouse revived the Haddonfield Killer, but what if they didn't? I like to make videos that you normally wouldn't see too often, and reviews have never really been my thing, so I hope this kind of video appeals to you. Your first response might be that both Loomis and Laurie died in the ending of Halloween 09. The same with Michael of course, but we also need to understand there are two endings for the film. The theatrical in which Michael and Loomis supposedly die, but Laurie survives, leaving her as the one who murdered Michael, and the director's cut in which everyone dies. Michael kills Loomis, the police kill Michael, and then Laurie too. But going off the direction of the second film, I don't think Laurie intended to harm anybody at the end of the director's cut, and the police made the mistake of killing her. But others have said that Rob Zombie's direction for the end was that Laurie was supposed to be the new killer, and Michael Myers was nothing but a hallucination. Now I can't really dive too deep into that theory because there doesn't seem to be any evidence or information to back it up. Zombie changed a lot with the sequel. For the entire life of the franchise, Michael has never really uttered a word, he never formed a sentence or hummed a song. But one of the cuts for the 2009 sequel actually showed Michael, or kind of had Michael speak. In the scene where Michael's mask is pulled off by psychiatrist Dr. Samuel Loomis, Michael says die before stabbing him. It's honestly a surprise that Rob Zombie even agreed to tackle the Halloween reboot, being that he was totally against reboots of course, but, but he agreed to reboot the horror classic and by the end of the first film was totally exhausted. He never really wanted to do a sequel and turned it down. It was rumored that Alexandre, Bustillo and Julia More were in talks to co-direct the 2009 sequel. But Zombie eventually stepped back in as he didn't want somebody else to mess with his vision. So it's no surprise that the third film never really happened. I have lived the last two years thinking that Laurie Strode was shot dead in the original ending of the 2009 film, but actually that wasn't the original ending. Like I mentioned earlier, Laurie survived and was sent to a mental institution. That's of course why some people think that Michael Myers was a hallucination and she was the real killer. But I can't see that happening though. So let's talk how Halloween 3 could have gone. A big shout out to Mike Sprague over at Dread Central for compiling the interesting idea. It's said that if you follow the original ending, that Michael, Laurie and Loomis survive, and if you think them dying means anything, well unfortunately you're wrong, we've seen it before. Hell, the Firefly family are even coming back after so many years. I always said it wrong, the Firefly fam. It's like Firefly Flamily, I can't, I always mess that up man. It's been around 10 years since Halloween 09, and we know the Sheriff Brackett lost star Annie in the sequel to Rob Zombie's Halloween film. Everyone grieves in their own weird ways, and it's quite possible that Sheriff Brackett has become obsessed with Laurie and Michael, much like how Dr. Sartain was with Michael in the newest film. Now let's say Laurie spent a couple of years locked in a mental institution, chances are she recovered from her traumatic events and was released back into society. So where has Michael been this whole time? Well, it's a good question, Michael was put back in a Smith's Grove sanitarium to avoid being a danger to anybody else, after all, he would be too dangerous to go to prison. Now it's also said that psychiatrist Dr. Samuel Loomis was admitted to Smith's Grove Sanitarium after murdering his old assistant. Loomis believes that the only way to keep himself and Michael safe is by being locked up with Michael, but of course not in the same cell. After Laurie's release from the mental institution, seen in the ending of 09's Halloween, she breaks out Michael from Smith's Grove Sanitarium and the new plan is to murder Loomis. Brackett soon learns of this new plan and gets Loomis released from Smith's Grove Sanitarium. He then kidnaps Loomis and forces him to act as bait to bring Michael and Laurie back to Haddonfield for one final Halloween. By the end of the film, Michael murders Loomis and Laurie turns good again and saves Officer Brackett from Michael Myers, more than likely because he took her in after her adoptive parents were killed back in 07 in Halloween. Michael and Laurie both die in the process, leaving Officer Brackett all alone with his ghosts. Now these ghosts include young Michael, old Michael, Laurie and his daughter Annie. And that is how Mike over at Dread Central thinks Halloween could have been. Maybe it's better off that we didn't get the movie. So while we never had an official Halloween tree, there was actually an official script for the movie, and here's what actress Scout Taylor Compton said in regards to it. Rob was done after the second one. Uh, there was a lot of stuff going on, and I mean, I was too young to really understand what was going on, but I do know that we were contacted, myself and Tyler Mayne were contacted by Dimension to do a third one. They had sent over a copy of the script, and they didn't have a director, but they had a tentative tape date, and that was it. Rob Zombie wasn't going to be a part of it, and they pretty much cut funds in half. It was the strangest phone call I've ever gotten in my entire life, and when I heard that Rob wasn't going to be a part of it, I called Tyler and talked to him, and he said that he had gotten the same offer. We were so hesitant on doing it, and we saw the media, all the different directors they had attached to it and all this stuff. I was indifferent with what I wanted to do. It seemed so unorganized and so up in the air, but then it was like, well if I don't do the movie, they're going to get someone else to train what I've worked so hard on. Ending with, but I'm glad it didn't happen, because the offer that came in was not from loving hands. 
Tyler Main, who played Michael Myers for both Halloween 07 and Halloween 09, said this about the 2018 sequel. I couldn't be happier to hear that Nick Castle is coming back to play the role of Michael Myers in the new film. Thank you for letting me borrow the suit for a time. Shout out to John Carpenter Official, hashtag Damie Lee Curtis, and all the OG crew coming back to the franchise. Hashtag can't wait, hashtag fanboy, hashtag Halloween. So that's everything we know about Rob Zombie's Halloween 3. And it's probably better that we never got a third installment, especially since the cast even recognised that it wasn't being done for the love of the lore. And I personally would be open for Rob's return in the future if he ever decided to return. Now, the thing is, there was a script for the film, but we just never got it. So, if it ever does happen, we'll more than likely see that same script in action.